Hey there guys, GS Bricks here and today I'm here with a haul video and today's haul video is a combination of both my birthday and Christmas gifts and yes, today is my birthday if you want to wish me a happy birthday, uh, go for it but as I said, this is a combination of both Christmas and my birthday uh, gifts and I've still got a couple more uh, sets coming in uh, like the Hulkbuster and stuff that I ordered offline that aren't going to be coming here until uh, after New Year's so yeah, that's unfortunate, but I mean, it kind of actually works out because they wouldn't even fit in the camera frame because uh, some of the sets are really big. But uh, I got quite a few sets here. Uh, really happy with this haul, and uh, by no means am I at all bragging or anything. So if you think I'm like bragging or something, well, you're wrong. So uh, yeah, but starting out with uh, the biggest set and the I guess the most costly. No, not the most costly because I did get it on sell-ish. I guess you could say, and that is the. Uh, Batman the Joker Steamroller set with Batgirl. I just refer to it as the Batgirl set because that's the only thing that like really interests me and the uh, Joker's uh, uh, um, suit variant, I guess you could say. Uh, there's Batgirl, the light, uh, the reflection from the light is blocking her. Uh, but yeah, this is a $50 set of retail. It is retired and I got it for $43 on eBay. So yeah, uh, it didn't end up being the highest, um, the highest set I paid for, I had to pay for, but uh, you know, yeah. Uh, but then next up we have one of my favorite themes probably is the Lego X-Men theme and we have the uh, X-Men versus the Sentinel set and I wanted this set. Uh, the set is also retired I believe or it's going to it's going to be retired one, uh, during the new year. So I wanted this set. Uh, the Sentinel is pretty uh, dope and you get Storm, uh, Cyclops, and Wolverine in his variant with his helmet or mask I should say. It just looks like a helmet in the Lego form but it's a mask. And you also get Magneto's uh, flipped variant uh, where he has the purple suit and the red cape. But uh, yeah I really look forward to that set. I got it for uh, $45 including tax um, from Amazon. So uh, yeah you might be able to get it at Amazon or at Target I believe. Uh, they have not sold out just yet. Uh, next up we have here the uh, Lego Dimensions uh, Jurassic World uh, team pack, and you get the oh, you get Owen or Chris Pratt as I like to call him. You get the ACU, uh, the I'm not gonna even try to pronounce that, and the Velociraptor. So uh, yeah, it's pretty uh, Lego Dimensions. I don't have the game itself, but I did just want the figures. Uh, another Lego Dimensions thing I got was the uh, Lego Cyborg fun pack, and uh, you get the Cyborg minifigure along with the Cyborg uh, Cyber dr uh, Guard. But a uh, fun story, or not fun story, but like a cool, I guess, way or whatever. I had a $30 coupon at Best Buy. They sell these at Best Buy, by the way. Had a $30 coupon at Best Buy, so I ended up getting this. For, I only had to pay $1.05. I also did have to buy this. Here, I'll get it for you. Just so I could actually get the $30 off because these were on sale. I had to buy this uh, thing for $0.99. Cents. But uh, maybe I'll use it someday. Maybe I won't. <laughs> uh, but next up, we have... The uh, Carnage's Shield Sky Attack. This is a $12 set. Uh, I got it from Target and it has Miles Morales Carnage. The figures are just really great in this set. So, uh, yeah, I recommend getting it. I'm not sure if it's going to. I don't even know when this came, uh, set came out, but if it, I'm not sure if it's going to retire or anything. So, sorry about that. Can't confirm that. And then finally, or not finally. Uh, next, I have this from Target. I'm really excited about this. I have the Lego minifigure uh, gift cube for 2015 with Lightning Lad. That's the main reason I got this for Lightning Lad. But you get Lightning Lad and some awesome... You get this uh, awesome hairpiece from Kai and some other things. I don't think I'm going to do a review on this because I'm really late. But um, other than that, I really do. That's funny. He has Lightning Lad, uh, the Superman logo for Lightning uh, Lad. But I don't think I'm going to do a review of this. It's really cool looking and the minifigure inside. But finally, here is the final set I got. Da, 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 da. C3PO from The Force Awakens. Uh, or The Force Awakens Polybag. And the funny story behind that is, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you will would have saw the start uh, the story that I had where I went into Toys R Us to look for the C3PO, but I end up finding the Hulk uh, 
minifinger poly bag and I wasn't able to purchase it unfortunately because I was a day early so uh, yeah thanks Toys R Us for putting out all your inventory for the public to grab but then not selling it to them uh, I think maybe it might have been a promotion I don't think so but I think they just weren't selling them until the 6th or maybe the promotion started on the 6th uh, of November um, December sorry so but then Today, uh, exactly today, I went into Toys R Us and uh, I was looking for the Hulk poly bag, ironically, and I found the, like an entire bin of C-3PO's. So hopefully I'm able to get the Hulk uh, minifigure thing. If I'm not able to, I'm fine with that. I got C-3PO. Planning on going to get some more. Uh, they're $6 now. I thought they were uh, 4 I only had like 10 bucks on me, so I was only able to get one. But I do plan on going back uh, maybe in a couple days to get some more. I don't feel like going to Toys R Us right now uh, because, yeah, their Lego aisle is just a wreck after Christmas. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got in this haul video. Like I said, I do have a couple of things coming in, but I don't plan on including them in another haul video or doing another haul video because, well... I just don't feel like it, and uh, I got a lot of haul videos coming out, so don't want to keep producing haul videos because I don't want that to be the main thing on my channel. Uh, but I also want to have fit into the frame, as you can see right here. Uh, I also did get the Carnage's Shield uh, today. Also got the X Jack. It came in, in the mail today. Uh, the Batwing, or well, excuse me, the Joker Steamroller set came in the mail a couple days ago, and so did the uh, fun packs of the Lego Dimension sets. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this haul video, but I do want to get into 2016 and what's to come because we are so close to the new year. So um, for this channel, I have a lot of new videos coming out and a lot of new videos planned. Uh, and just to talk about so it's not vague, I do plan on doing a C-3PO review of the minifigure along. So I have uh, two more haul videos coming out uh, to come out uh, in the couple coming weeks. Then I have a couple... Um, showcases to come out i think three custom minifigure showcases and then other than that i have a ton more videos to planned i want to do a review of the batwing set for the uh dawn of justice minifigure line uh, also maybe a review of the battle on takodana from the star wars the force awakens line that had some pretty cool figures in it along so i do want to uh crap it just uh went out of my uh, head what i was gonna say uh, I do want to, uh, oh, a custom minifigure of Reverse Flash, I want to start that pretty soon. I also do plan on doing a couple custom minifigure comparisons, and, I mean, not custom minifigure, but uh, minifigure comparisons, like I did for uh, Superboy and Martian Manhunter. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the JS Bricks side of things. And JS Films, I do plan on uh, releasing my stop-motion series, Star Wars After 66, along with some Marvel videos planned out, like uh, Lego Wolverine and Lego the Hulk. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, the Hulk, by the way. I didn't say Lego the Hulk. Uh, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. I also got the uh, the other uh, Avengers set, not just the Hulkbuster, the one with Hawkeye and uh, Thor. It was, like, $15 at Amazon. So, uh, yeah, there you go with that. But also, one thing I would like to ask you guys is that you comment more on my videos because I do like reading the comments. And uh, aside from negative ones, obviously, I do like reading comments and... Uh, sorry, I was looking at my camera, I was like, wait, is this thing recording? Uh, it's recording now. <laughs> but, uh, I do like reading the comments, and I don't get too many of them, so that's pretty much a bummer on my side. But if you guys could comment, just like a little more, just say like, hey, I watched the video, or just go in the video and comment, that would make my day, because I do love reading your guys' comments. Uh, the Brick Builder 101 and Ben Zillet, uh, they've been commenting recently on my videos, so shout out to them. Um, but yeah, 2015's been a great year. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to do a haul of customs for this year, because I only have like 12 customs that I worked on, and most of them are just minifigure updates. But for the ones that, like the customs, like the CW customs, and the couple, uh, uh, superhero customs I did like um, Rachel Ghoul and Queen Bee. I will just include them in the uh, 2016 Hall of Customs, just because I don't want to like do a two, like a two second video on me showing like five customs. But um, yeah, I also might include some of the minifigure updates. Uh, but you guys, I don't know. You guys tell me what you guys think about that in the comments down below. I don't plan on doing a highlight reel either because this wasn't that great of a year for my channel. Uh, and that's on my that's my fault personally because that three month break I took where uh, I wasn't really filling Lego or YouTube. Uh, I that that was my fault. I took a break. Uh, but then I got like after working on City in the Night, doing the final editing, I got really back into Lego, and I'm here to stay, guys. 
But uh, I, all, other than reaching 900, going from 300 subscribers at the beginning of the year to 900 now, uh, and 28,000 uh, views on the LEGO Deathstroke and Nightwing uh, showcase, uh, trap what I, my, I lost my track of words. Other than getting the 28k views and the 900 subscribers, my channel hasn't really gotten that many milestones, but I am really grateful. And just also because I don't really uh, want to put, like, like I said, it's also going to be just probably like a two second video on the uh, highlight reel, so because I don't really have too many things to add in there other than the subscriber milestones and the uh view the view milestones. I also got 100k views, so thank uh, thank you guys so much for that. 100k total views. JS Films has went from 1000 views to 8000 views, which is really good. And uh yeah, Lego Batman City of the Night and Lego uh Star Wars After 66 the prologue have been released. A link in the description down below would be uh very much appreciated if you clicked on them and to watch those videos because I put a lot of effort into them and if that's what you want to get me for my birthday watching those videos and commenting on them that'd be really great uh, and also go subscribe to the JS Films channel you can also follow me on Twitter I have not been saying that I have made a Twitter at JS underscore confirmed with three replacing the E or you can just search up JS Films on Twitter also follow me on Instagram at JS Ricks and at JS Films and subscribe to this channel if you have not already this has been my birthday haul uh, yeah it's my birthday just to clarify that uh and i will see you guys in the next video uh also on jazz films peace lots cram in in this outro of me saying crap uh bye guys